Peace and love, everyone, and thank you for tuning back into Yoga with Luisana. Today, we will be practicing a super quick intermediate vinyasa flow. So make sure you have that H2O handy and ready, an optimistic mind, and that power and strength to push through. Let's flow. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here, finding ourselves in a comfortable seat, drawing our hands to heart center. We're gonna take three cycles of collective breath together. A deep inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. And inhale through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Taking a super deep inhale here. And then exhale out the mouth. And then starting to draw an intention here for your practice. This intention can be a person, it can be a place, a thing, an idea, a goal whatever you would like to lead you through practice today and just sitting it at your heart center here i'm going to read you a quote by nelson mandela the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling but in rising every time we fall so just holding that quote at your heart center Noticing that if you do fall out of the posture, it's okay. Just allowing yourself to move and flow without judgment. And taking an inhale here. And an exhale out the mouth. We're going to get ready to move here. I'm gonna bring the tops of the hands together at a prayer in front of the heart and then flutter the fingertips up towards the sky, making circular motions, and then exhaling to flutter the hands back down towards our heart center. Inhale to flutter the arms and the fingers up towards the sky. Exhale to flutter the fingertips back down towards heart center. Beautiful. Inhale to flutter our intention up toward the sky, sending our goals to the sun. And then exhale to draw our intention back to heart center here. Taking this once more, inhale to flutter our fingertips up towards the sky. And exhale to flutter the fingertips back down. Nice work. Drawing the hands to heart center. We're gonna do wrist stretches here. So making circles with the knuckles in one direction and then switching the rotation, taking the circles in the other direction. Just warming up the wrist here before we begin to move because we are moving through a quick flow. Just wanna make sure we release this area of the body. So we're gonna release the palms to the lap here, bringing both hands to clasp. We're gonna release the bottom of the hands up towards the sky. Breathing here. And then using the exhale to release the clasp, we're gonna lower the arms back down. Inhale to clasp our hands in front of our body, releasing the tops of the hands towards the sky. Breathing here. Exhale to release the clasp, lowering the arms. Inhale to clasp the hands, drawing the tops of the hands up towards the sky. Exhale to release the clasp. So from here, we're gonna draw the knuckles back behind us to clasp at the base of the spine. Inhale to shine our light. Exhale, releasing the forehead towards the mat. So you wanna feel this nice shoulder stretch here. And you wanna draw the knuckles up towards the sky here. Breathing here. Engaging the core, inhale to draw ourselves all the way back up. We're gonna shift forward to hands and knees coming into our first tabletop here. Inhale to lift our heart, shining our light for our cow. Exhale to round the spine, drawing the belly in for our cat pose. So taking this on your own, 
for a few cycles of breath. Maybe even closing the eyes down, feeling this movement within the body. And here, maybe inviting some intuitive movements. So maybe sitting back onto the heels, making circles with the hips. Shifting over to one side of the hips and the other, whatever you need. Just moving with your own intention, with your own body. And then tucking the toes, we're going to lift the hips up and back into our downward facing dog. Inhaling our right leg up and back to a three-legged dog. Exhale to step it all the way through into our low lunge. Bringing the left foot to meet the right, coming into our forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to rise the arms all the way up, bringing the palms to touch overhead. And then exhale the hands through heart center, lowering them down to Tadasana. Inhale to rise the arms up. Exhale to swan, dive right back over the legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale to plant the hands down. You can step or hop back to plank and move through your flow back into your down dog. Nice work, everyone. Gonna inhale the left leg up and back to a three-legged dog. Exhale to step it all the way through, moving into our low lunge. Bringing the right foot to meet the left, coming into our forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to rise the arms all the way up, bringing the palms to touch overhead. And then exhale to swan dive back over the legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale to plant the hands down, step or hop back to plank and move through your flow. If you are, are hopping back, you need to hop back to bent elbows just to protect yourself here. And then hopping ourselves forward, coming into our forward fold. Maybe grabbing for opposite elbows, swaying from side to side. Bringing the weight into the toes here, little to no weight in the heels. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to rise yourself up into our chair pose. So setting the weight onto the heels. Nice, you got this. Staying strong in our chair pose and with the exhale folding right over our legs. Inhaling ourselves back into our chair, sitting the weight into the heels, lifting our heart. You got this. And then using our next inhale, we're going to rise ourselves all the way back up to stand. Bringing the palms to touch, drawing the hands to heart center. Inhaling to rise the arms up. And then with the exhale, swan diving over our legs. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale to plant the hands down, step or hop back to plank and move through your flow back into your down dog. Nice work. You got this. Gonna inhale the right leg up and back to a three-legged dog. Exhale to step it all the way through, lowering the back heel down, rising the arms up into our warrior one. Keeping that nice bend in the right knee, we're gonna clasp the hands at the base of the spine, inhaling to shine our heart. Exhale to fold right over the right thigh. Inhaling to rise, arms up. Exhale to plant the hands down, step back to plank, and move through your flow back into your down dog. Right away, inhaling the left leg up and back to a three-legged dog. We're gonna exhale to step it all the way through. Moving into our low lunge, lowering the back heel down, rising up into our warrior one. Exhale to lower the hands to clasp at the base of the spine. Inhale to shine our light. Exhale to dive forward to the inside of the left thigh. Inhale to rise ourselves back up into our warrior one. Exhale to plant the hands down, step back to plank, and move through your flow back into your down dog. Nice work. Breathing here, noticing that power, noticing that strength. We're gonna take a bend in the knee and hop the feet to the outsides of our hands, coming into our Malasana squat. Breathing here. Drawing that intention back into the body. Planting the right palm down, we're gonna inhale the left arm up. Opening up our chest, shining the light, maybe binding the left arm around the back. Inhale to rise the left arm back down and rising the right arm up to the sky here. Binding at the base of the spine here. 
Inhale to rise the right arm back up to the sky and then folding right over our legs. Good work. Inhaling halfway lift. And coming into our chair pose here. Staying super strong in our chair. And then coming into our airplane chair up onto our tippy toes, flying ourselves forward, releasing the heels, rising the arms back up. Exhale to come up onto our tippy toes into our airplane chair. Inhale to release the heels back towards the mat. Drawing the hands to heart center, we're gonna twist over to the left here. Drawing ourselves back to center, we're gonna twist over to the right. You got this. I know you're working out there. Inhaling ourselves back to center. Exhale to forward fold. Inhaling half lift. Exhale to plant the hands down. You can step or hop back to plank and move through your flow back into your down dog. Inhaling forward into plank pose here. Then dropping the left palm underneath the face. Inhaling to rise the right arm into our side plank. Maybe lifting the right foot. You got this with all that strength. I know you're doing it out there. Inhaling back to plank. Bringing the right palm underneath the face. Inhaling to rise the left arm up to the sky. Into our side plank. Inhaling that left foot up. Maybe smiling. You got this. Beautiful work. Inhaling ourselves back to plank pose. And then moving through a chaturanga. We'll meet back into our downward facing dog. Nice work. You got this. Inhaling the right leg up and back to a three legged dog. We're going to exhale to draw the right knee towards the left wrist. Inhaling the right leg up and back. Exhale the right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale the right leg up and back to a three legged dog. Exhale to curl the knee towards the chin. Inhaling the right leg up and back to a three legged dog. And then using our exhale, we're going to draw the right knee towards the right wrist, lowering the shin into our pigeon here. Drawing our fingertips back behind us, flying our pigeon. And then using our exhale to fold right over the right thigh. So taking a few cycles of breath here, noticing that release in the hip sockets. You've done a lot of work so far. You deserve this release and ease. And then using our inhale to walk ourselves back up, flying our pigeon, planting the hands down, tucking the left toe under, Stepping back to plank here and moving through your flow back into your down dog. Nice work. Inhaling the left leg up and back to a three legged dog. We're going to draw the left knee towards the right elbow for a twist. Inhaling the left leg up and back to a three legged dog. Exhale, left knee towards the left elbow. Nice. Inhaling the left leg up and back to a three legged dog. Exhaling, knee towards chin. Inhale on the left leg up and back to a three-legged dog. With the exhale, we're going to draw the left knee towards the left wrist, lowering the shin directly down, untucking the back toes into our pigeon. Drawing the arms behind us, flying our pigeon. With the exhale, we're going to fold right over the left thigh. So feeling that release on this side of the body. And if it feels different on this side than the other, it's totally fine. Just accepting this without judgment. Just truly surrendering here. And inhale to walk ourselves back up, flying our pigeon. With the exhale, planting the hands down, sending ourselves back to our down dog. Inhaling forward to plank and moving through your flow back into your down dog. Beautiful work. I know you're doing great. Lowering the knees down. We're going to come into a frog pose. So I'm going to face the other side of my mat so I can show you. So we're going to bring the knees wider than the mat. You can release the insides of the feet towards the mat and maybe draw the chest towards the mat as well. Or maybe it releases onto the mat. Just feeling this release in the inner hip sockets. And then using the next inhale to walk ourselves back up, bringing the knees back together. 
We're just gonna come to lie on our stomachs here. Bringing the palm by the side, palms facing down. And then we're gonna inhale up into our locust. So drawing the legs up, the chest and the arms. Maybe inhaling up a little bit higher into our back bend. And using the exhale to lower everything down to the mat. Bringing the opposite ear to the mat. And then slowly rolling over, just coming to lie on our backs, bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. Pressing out the heels and the palms, we're gonna lift the hips up towards the sky. Exhale to release the hips back down towards the mat. Inhale to send the hips up towards the sky. Exhale to release the hips back towards the mat. Inhale the hips up towards the sky. Exhale to release. Just breathing here. I'm gonna bring the soles of the feet to touch, allowing the knees to fall out, bringing one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Noticing your being here, your existence, your power. And drawing the knees back to center. Gonna rock back and forth on the spine, enough to come to a shoulder stand here. So you wanna grab for the lower back, and if it's available to you to release the toes back behind you into a plow pose, you can. Breathing into the back side of the body, into the spine. And drawing the toes back up towards the sky, making our way down one vertebrae at a time with control. Into our full Shavasana. You did it, you made it through all those twists and turns. And it was quick, you did it. Allowing yourself to just be here. Allowing yourself to surrender here. Bringing the palms to face up. Closing the eyes down. And taking these next few minutes to just feel all of the benefits of the practice. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. So we're just starting to bring some awareness back into the body by moving the fingertips and the toes. Maybe drawing the arms back behind you, just reawakening here. Bringing one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Taking a super deep inhale here through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Taking one more breath here. And then shifting over to whichever side is your favorite in a fetal position. And then with eyes closed or the gaze soft, just making our way into a nice comfortable seat. Drawing the hands to heart center. Just thanking ourselves for our practice here, for showing up to being you, to being strong. Namaste. Thank you all so much for tuning in again. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and also share this video with a family member or a friend. They might need it too. Until next time, peace and love everyone.